He's a taller man in this fight. So here we go. Looking at the tail of the tape, we've got a slight height and reach advantage for Sweet Ab. Everything else is virtually equal. Introducing first, the black corner. His style makes martial art. He at 61 kills. Big Sheriff of Dub, Kasharaj of Dasha! Fighting out of the his son kickboxing, he ran in at 60 kilograms, representing Bangalore Tigers! As the action begins, the referee for the fight, Alan Fernandez. Here we go for our first fight of the night. We've got Agasa in the brown trunks. We've got Sri Dev in the blue trunks. Both these fighters are going to look to come out here and get some momentum rolling for their team in the first matchup of the evening. Yeah, we definitely got a wrestler versus kickboxing kind of match, so hopefully the kickboxer can sprawl this one out and we can keep it standing. Yeah, Sri Dev is definitely going to have to stay on his bike, utilize some of that reach and some of that range, but controlling range is a very difficult thing to do, as I'm sure you know, Gary. Glove touch. And our action is underway, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the kind of range he's going to have to keep against Agasa. He needs, like, he's a longer man here. He can definitely keep this range away. He's going to be looking to shoot. Agasa, there he is. Agasa going for that takedown. Big slam off of that takedown. He threw an inside leg kick and then immediately rushed in. And now he's got side mount. Sridev trying to get to a hip and get back up, but that's going to be difficult to do. Agasa all over, a right to side control, and he's working it straight from there. This is his game. This is that grappler body that he has. He'll drop his weight. He probably weighs a lot more than 150 pounds in there right now. So he's going to feel a lot heavy, especially with the hip pressure. Yeah, he's got insane top control, great base, and he's looking aggressively right now to pass over into full mount if he can. But Sridev's doing a good job holding onto his head, trying to control the top part of his posture, but he's got his hands full right now. Definitely, he's gonna look to regard. He's gonna try to get his, his his nearest leg underneath the leg and try to regard into at least a half guard, which is kind of what he's doing right now. But if he knows how to act from there, that's the biggest thing. He is on his hip, which helps. He's on his left hip. He does not want to keep himself flat on his back with Agasa on top of him. And it, if you're on your back as well, it leaves you no angle to rotate and either escape or look for a submission. So he did a good job of getting back to guard, using his hip to get to that position. And this especially, Right here, wrestlers love this, to, to, to smash a guy up against the cage and just kind of use that pressure and kind of just suffocate them right there. You can trap your opponent's head up against the cage as well. He's looking for an arm bar right now. He doesn't have his left leg stretched across the body, decides to let it go intelligently because he did not have the right angle and it wasn't deep enough. Yeah, he's postured out with his, his, his right leg, trying to keep the head pressure down. He's trying to set up the arm bar again. It's on the like, opposite side. But there's a cage stopping him on that side, so he won't be able to do it from that end. Look at the way Agasa just transitions from position to position, always keeping foundational base so that his opponent can't get out from underneath him. Now he's starting to light him up with some shots, trying to distract him to potentially set up a submission or to work for dominant position from here. Nice hammer fist from Agasa as he gets into north-south. He's definitely suffocating him right now. He's, he's, he's trying to keep him on the ground, and that's exactly where he's going to tire him out. But Tree needs, Tree's getting up here. He gets up back to his feet. Great takedown defense. For him to be able to get back to his feet shows a lot of awareness on the ground and trying to throw a knee nice. and get separation. This is what Sridev needs. He needs to keep his distance, he needs to pump the jab, and he needs to be careful about the kicks that he throws because certain kicks are easy to catch. It also almost seems kind of confused because he hasn't felt this from an opponent who stood up. He's looking for that takedown again. And off that kick, just like I was talking about, he timed that kick, and even though Sridev was able to get the kick back, Agasa plowed forward, got the takedown, and here we are again in Agasa's world. Now this definitely messes with 
the mentality, like especially when you got somebody like Agasa on top of you. You get back up, you use that energy, you get back to your feet, and you end up right back where you started. It is so difficult to stop this man from getting you to the ground. He's looking for potentially to roll around to his back. Sridev is in turtle position. He's just shelling up. This is only a defensive position from here. He can't do anything offensively. He could potentially roll through if Agasa gets too high, but Agasa looks to attempt to take his back and get both hooks in. He's got him flattened out. This is a bad spot for Sridev. Yeah, he's controlling the wrist from the inside, which is, is very powerful, especially to land punches like that. Those right are there. heavy shots being landed. There's nothing you can do about this either. You can't even see those strikes coming in. And the second you start to defend the strikes, the submission comes, and exactly like Agassi was looking for. He's being patient, he's taking his time, he's methodically getting to sink in that rear naked choke, and we are gonna get a tap soon. That is underneath the chin. This is gonna be over very quickly. He's fighting it though, but it is definitely deep. He still has not tapped yet. That's he unbelievable. He's going out. Yet. He's out. Stop it, wow. Raph. He's out. He did not tap. He went to sleep. This man's got some heart, but what a performance from Agasa. Again, another devastating grappling performance from the captain of the Sherry Punjab. And Sridev is still out on the mat. This is just a part of the game. It happens. He'll be back too in just a second. But this is the type of squeeze Agasa's got. He will put you to sleep if you don't tap. I don't know what's more impressive, the win or the fact that he didn't tap. Him having that locked in, could have easily tapped and stood up, but he wanted to go out on his shield. You gotta respect that warrior mentality. He's okay right now. A lot of respect being shown from this crowd. Talk us through this replay, Gary. Yeah, he, he sunk that in. That's basically a game over. That should have ended probably two, three seconds, but, but Shree would not tap. That was deep in there, and Shree was not gonna tap. He was gonna go to sleep, and that was it. That was deep in, perfect choke on the bicep, full pressure. There's not really anything coming back from that. Outstanding stuff from Agassi gets his team off to a five point lead. That's what you want from your captain. Let's send it over to Jared for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Power with the call to stop in the fight. In the first round in four minutes, declaring the winner, submission by the rear naked choke. From Sheriff and Job, Bantaraj Agassa! Ladies and gentlemen, that means Sheriff and Job up by three points! All right, the captain of Sherry Punjab doing it for his team. Subse pehle to bahut bahut badhai. Aapne apne interview mein pehle mujhse kaha tha ke I will never take my opponent for granted. Of course, yaha pe aapke aapne kuch aur hi kar dikhaya. How are you feeling, captain? Um, when I heard he's a debut, so I thought I don't go, I don't go easy. Jab maine socha chalo aaram se khel leta hu. Na naya sa rakha hai to zada kuch ground and pound nahi karta hu. So aaram se. ये आप आराम से खेल रहे थे यहाँ पे ओके ऑल राइट चलिए आप हमें ये बताइए कि आज आपके लिए जीत कितनी जरूरी है आपके टीम के लिए यदि हम ये मैच जीत गए तो हमारा सेमीफाइनल का रास्ता इजी हो जाएगा तो हमारे सब सारे फाइटर्स भी अच्छे फॉर्म में हैं डेफिनेटली देवल विन तो आपको लगता है कि आज शेर पंजाब ही जीतेगा ऑलमोस्ट क्या हमेशा हमारा टीम ही जीतना चाहते हैं। हमारा टीम ही जीतना चाहिए। On that note, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the captain of Sherepanja.